Good evening, everyone. My name is Paul Young. I'm going to walk you through a brief example of how you can create a Cognos controller report that isolates the elimination entries as part of the consolidation reporting cycle. So, you're at month end close. You're trying to isolate all the adjustments you made from the investment elimination, intercompany balances, uh, any other sort of entries from intercompany profit and all that, you want to isolate them as part of looking at the overall results and see what's changed. This particular example here is a trial balance with drill down. So you're seeing that it basically has the only closing versions and contribution versions as base value. So in other words, these are numbers that are not changed or impacted by consolidation yet. See, these are the numbers that if you look at, basically you want to see as part of consolidation, you'd want to see these numbers eventually eliminated. Because if you go to line B30160, where you see investment in group companies, that entry should be eliminated when we do the consolidated financial statements. And I'm going to walk you through how that's done. But what I want you to pay attention to here is kind of just a, a snapshot of the actual values you're seeing. Now, like many clients or customers you deal with, they like to look at their companies across the top and then one column entry for adjustments. So what's changed between the base value and the consolidated balance? This is where the adjustments come in. So this is this particular example is just one way to kind of isolate it, to kind of give you an option to view that adjustments as one column. So I'm not going to teach you anything new that you're not already familiar with. I'm just going to show you how you can build this report. So the very first slide you're seeing here is basically just creating a report. No different than what you would do with normal reports for Cognos Controller, but this one's going to get into specific row and column definitions. So look at what you're seeing here on this particular screen. You're seeing column definitions that include period, actuality, company, consolidation type, currency, contribution, version automatic journal. So in other words, we're defining key filters that we want this report to include. Now, the role definition. Now this is one where you can bring in the whole trial balance. Let's say you want to do that. Maybe you want to bring in all the uh, income statement accounts. Maybe you just want to bring in the balance sheet. So this gives you an option to identify what account filter you want. So let's look at the role identifier first. I'm particularly focusing on balance sheet and income statement account. So I'm going to pull everything that rolls up to that. Okay, and That's what this filter is doing. Now, let's look at the column identifier now. Look at how many different columns here that we're identifying. So we've got period, we've got period, we got year to date, actuality, company, then we basically have got consolidation, currency, contribution versus. Look at what you see there. You see base, adjustment, base, base. Now why am I showing that? Well, I want to show basically the base value and I want to show the final closing version or contribution version, I mean, to, to reflect the consolidation entries and that's what the underscored ADJ is, is the final value. Now, remember how Cognos Controller reads data. When you build reports based on row and column identifiers, it uses a get value function to populate that Excel sheet. So depending how big your database is, your company structures are, it may take some time to pull that data in. So you need to think it out what you're trying to do in terms of that filter. Okay, You may want to run this report for specifically a group level, uh, a high group level, the final consolidation method, what you want to see done. The discretion is up to you to kind of determine that, to kind of how you want to build that. Because again, the get value reads against the database itself. So let's look at this now. So the very first thing you're seeing here is the base values, right? So you're seeing everything rolls up to 1100, which is the consolidated amount. So at the end of the day, we don't want to see that investment in group companies. So if I run the report now, basically the final consolidated balance, I will see the entry, I'll see basically the eliminations gone. But I want to see those eliminations and compare them. So how is this done? Well, you're going to have one column called base value. That's 1100. You're going to have another one called all adjustments. So that means all the adjustments are out. And all you're really going to do is subtract the two columns. Now, in your Excel sheet, you'll have the companies across the rows. All you're going to do is do some hiding, cleaning up a bit, 
And guess what? This is the type of reports you're going to get. You're going to see basically the final adjustments. So this allows you to compare what has changed between the consolidated balances, the final balance sheet income statement, to what the base values were reported. This is a good way to give an indicator for management to show you what's changed as part of the consolidation. That's what this method is kind of do to kind of illustrate it. It allows you giving you that option. Now, the next sheet that you're seeing here quickly is basically just giving you example of what's happening with the eliminations. And I just wanted to show you that, how things are coming out. That's all that's supposed to be doing. And again, this was just to focus on the eliminations as being eliminated altogether. And that's really what that's showing you. Now, I've attached some links so that you can kind of take a look at the Cognos controller links to basically look at what's available in terms of building reports. That's what you're seeing with this particular slide, as well as the last slide to kind of look at different ways to build reports. I'm doing the, a series of these type of presentations on report building. Yes, this stuff and methods have been around for a while. We haven't changed anything significantly in controller. However, that being said, this gives you a, a kind of a refresher as we're moving forward with Microsoft support for 2013 and beyond to kind of look at still kind of employing best practices and how you want to pull information together. Thank you.